minicamp came to a conclusion here in Florham Park today. And as we look ahead to training camp, one of the most hotly contested position battles figures to be at right guard. You know, right now it's, it's about me just getting to camp. You know, obviously it's going to be a competition battle. You know, it's me, O'Day, Brian, uh, Brent competing for the right guard spot. And um, I look forward to it. I've, always, I've been through a number of these, and um, that's what makes the NFL great. You know, if you want it, the best guy is going to get it. I think all of them are legitimate candidates, you know. Some are nicked up, some get to work, and some hadn't gotten to work and are getting to work now. And we're looking at this as an extension of OTAs, so. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good spring. It was nice to uh, rotate positions a lot from right guard, right tackle, left tackle. So just trying to, you know, give my best and be out there wherever I can help. Yeah, it's great to have the competition because um, it makes everybody better. So, uh, you know, being able to do that, being able to have the depth to do that, uh, has been a good thing for us. When you look at the other side at the guard position, what do you think James Carpenter is going to bring to this offense? Man, Carpenter's impressive. Yeah, I, every, we, we laugh at him because when you see him, he, he's really slow motion and he, he kind of lumbers around. But when he's on the field, he hums. You know, he's for a guy his side, he's great feet, he's physical, he's strong. And uh, I think he complements Brick, Brickside, uh, his game rather, really well. So th that left side is going to be very, uh, it's going to be fun to watch. Yeah, you know, uh, James is a heck of a player. He's, he's got uh, all the physical skills. Uh, it's neat seeing his perspective coming in, um, you know, trying to get to know each other, trying to get a feel of um, the calls and everything. Um, but it's been a good spring. You looking forward to putting the pads on? Always, always. Because, I, I mean, you know, camp is one of the times where you really put a staple and a, and a grade on a guy. You know, right now we're running around in shorts and underwear uh, getting after each other. That's not that's not football. You know, football is with a helmet and pads and, and in the trenches battling against the guy in front of you, and uh, that all happens this summer. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to show, you know, the team, especially the offensive line, that I really can play really hard and tough. It's, it's great to do to do well, you know, in shorts and, and jerseys, but when you get in the training camp and you put your pads on, that's when you uh, you get you really get your opportunities and you have to go out there and excel just to make sure that uh, you give your best shot. So now after 10 voluntary OTAs and three mandatory practice camp sessions, the Jets will go away for a few weeks until they return right here to Florida Park and start the 2015 training camp.